what's up guys all right so we are on our way to a buddy of mine's house his mom's house actually uh, she's having a problem with her kitchen uh, drain uh, he has a, says she has a clean out on the back wall so we're gonna go there we're gonna uh, shaft uh, through the clean out once we cleared out he says it's something that's been happening like every two three months it keeps happening so we have the camera we'll run the camera and see if we see what the issue is and if we see that there's an issue so at some point in that in that uh, kitchen line we will run the locator locate that and then we'll go from there but so stay tuned we'll do a little video on that thanks guys subscribe so we are at the property here we're gonna be running the uh, flex shaft K102. We got the camera here. We got everything here. We're gonna be we got all the equipment set up. We're gonna start running it through that clean on check. Is the kitchen line is the only one that's clogged up? The bathrooms are not having issues. So stay tuned. Let's run this camera. So we ran the uh, we ran the flex shaft 102, and we pulled this out. It was stuck on our cable. So now we're gonna run the camera and see the line. She's draining it now, customer's draining it now. It's, it's draining it. There we go, so we passed the flexure. A lot of grease in that line. It's a two inch line. We passed the camera. We, we were only able to go with the flex shaft about 24 feet with the camera. We passed it and we went all the way into the main sewer about 70 feet, I was about 65 feet into the sewer. So now I pulled the camera back out. I'm gonna run the flex shaft in there. Flow, flow, so I can get that line flow, flowing clear so we can then stack right there and there's still greasy water the base. a lot of grease the camera on the line yeah we tried to flex shaft it i mean there's just a lot of grease we're gonna have to bring the hydro jetter here and jet this line out because it's it's just it's really bad okay but we're in the we're in the clean out here we're going in and you see it the base of the stack is holding water so you can see that see that there it's holding water just a lot of grease. Look at that grease in that line. Just a lot of grease. I'm gonna try to push it all out. See, so it gets to a point. But look, look at the look at the top of the top of that pipe. It's just full of grease. So we'll just push this grease out as much as we can here. Alleviate them. She is gonna need the hydro jetter here. But yeah, this is. I mean, look at that. I can't even pass the camera right there. It's just getting stuck. I got the flex shaft here, but. It's just too much grease. It's just, I mean, this grease is going to actually even probably clog up the main. So, but you can't see nothing anymore. It's just too much grease and just messes up the, the head of the camera. But, uh, let me get water in there flowing and then we'll, we'll, we'll see it again. We were able to clear the lime. Her kitchen's flowing good. Uh, but imagine she has just, you know, years, years of grease build up on the top of the pipe. So we're going to have to come out here with the jetter and we're going to have to uh, jet out this line. So we'll do a video on that. But um, 
So yeah, so all that white stuff you see up on the top of the base of the, on the top of the, the pipe, not the base of it, on the top of the pipe is just hard, solid grease. It's like rock. So we're gonna have to hydro jet that out. And we're gonna just, she's just gonna need a whole cleaning of the sewer system at her house. Cause it's just, you know, grease from years, years of buildup. And then it looks like in the back end where the clean out goes down and the line turns in to go to the main, it, uh, it has a slight belly within like five feet. It looks like it has a little back pitch. So she's getting a lot of stuff held back. So that's probably what's causing all that grease to float to the top, stick to the top and then the water flows. But it got to the point where the grease went all the way down to the bottom and there was just nothing gonna, gonna flow through there. So we just left now. So, you know, that's pretty much it. We'll do another another video on, on this house uh, when we come bring the jetter. But <clears throat> this was just, you know, a kitchen line clogged up. Uh, they've been cleaning it every year or so. They rent a, rent a snake and they pass it through there and they clear it. All they're doing is just creating a little hole inside all that grease and it alleviates the water. And once it alleviates the water, boom, it lasts maybe two or three months. Once that grease seals up, they run a machine, they run a snake, puncture a hole through it, blah, 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 and there you go, there you go. So we're, we're here to give them a solution. So again, uh, the flex shaft, it's just a lot of grease. The flex shaft wasn't really, really uh, getting all that grease out, so we're just gonna have to go with the jitter route. All right, guys.